Trigonometric functions. You would first have met trigonometric functions or the trigonometric ratios in years 9 and 10 and they would have been introduced in the context of right angled triangles and so you would have been dealing with problems involving applications uh, with ladders against walls or slides or ramps, and problems involving right angled triangles, angles of elevation and depression such as those used in surveying and bearings such as those used in um, navigation. But uh, in year 11, perhaps in year 10, um, you would have been uh, introduced to the trigonometric functions, so sine, cos and tan as functions rather than as ratios. And that opens up a whole new world of applications involving uh, oscillating motion, so things to do with pendulums, also uh, circular motion, so ferris wheels, uh, bike wheels, anything circular, um, wind turbines, engines, uh, helicopter rotors, anything with circular motion will involve uh, applications of circular functions or trigonometric functions. And we also have applications um, to problems involving uh, wave patterns, so uh, sound frequencies, uh, literal waves, tides. Um, we also have uh, wave patterns appear when we're talking about vibration and this is a f uh, fairly recent um, engineering example of where um, perhaps some of the <laughs> circular functions calculations went a little awry. Um, this is the Millennium Footbridge in London. This was built to be opened in the year 2000 as a celebration of the Millennium and um, when they opened uh, the bridge they noticed there was quite a bit of sway and it's a suspension bridge and they're meant to sway that's part of um, what allows them um, that flexibility so they won't break in high winds etc um, but the sway was quite significant and it was significant enough that when there was a large number of people walking on the bridge due to the sway they found that people started to synchronize their steps to help them deal with the sway whilst walking and what that meant is you then had hundreds of people on the bridge all synchronizing their steps and all that did was to then exacerbate the vibration or the sway of the bridge um, so that it became greater and greater and they were concerned that this bridge uh, the sway could get so great that it might actually uh, break and so they closed the bridge and uh, added some fixes and um, reopened it and things seem to be fine now. Um, this is an example from 1940 in America where um, someone hadn't noticed the problem uh, early enough and the bridge in fact did um, collapse. So uh, it was a similar problem to do with vibration and sway on the bridge um, and it, this had not been engineered to cope with that potential build up of vibration and so uh, the engineer of this got something to do with their circular functions uh, a little wrong. And so there are lots and lots of applications of circular functions. In fact, this is, um, has a huge number of applications in all sorts of fields, particularly related to engineering.